Are you as excited as I am today? <laughs> Are you as excited as I am today? Well, we're going to get back on that gable end and get that thing wrapped up, I think. Uh, possibly get the doors put in uh, where we left off the last time we had the gable end tore apart. Or we were tearing it apart. I don't even know if that's in the video. But... I did get the 4x8 sheets of hardy siding. It's an 8 inch pattern and we'll go ahead and put that stuff up uh, this morning. Hopefully get that gable in wrapped up. We gotta figure out how to hold that stuff up there. It's pretty heavy and uh, the nailing is gonna be kind of interesting. I'm not sure how I want to nail it yet. I'm not sure I want a bunch of exposed nails, but I don't know if I can really do it without having them. Um, I may go ahead and nail it off the top and then inside the part on the exposed part, just tack it with a few brad nails and then come back and do some finish nails on it. I really, really don't want it to, uh, you know, look ugly. But I've got galvanized nails in case I need those, so we'll uh, we'll figure it out. But getting it up there and getting it level is going to be the trick. Uh, I'm thinking I'm going to have to. Uh, Put a board across the wall and fasten it to give me a nice stable level surface and that may be where we start so thank you for joining me today and let's get with it all right you see we've got the gable here that we're getting ready to cover up and this hardy is pretty heavy it's got to run all the way up to the peak web there. Almost a half a sheet or three quarters of a sheet. So what I think I'm going to do is right here where uh, you see it's been painted there. We'll have to figure out how to get that off. Right here where this was at, it's straight down all the way to the, both ends. All the way down to both ends. I think what I'll do I'm going to try and maybe put a ledger board up there, take a 2 by 4 and just put it here and run it down the whole length and then put a few tap cons in the grout joint just to hold it there. That way it will give me something to support the wood or to support the siding so I can get it nailed off and also make it a little bit easier to deal with. And I have to come back and Tear this piece of drywall off on the inside. So I'll do that later. Right now I just want to get this end covered up. And I need to get the house wrap on it too so that get it all covered in. Keep the uh, moisture down. Anyway, so that's what we're gonna do. Uh, we're getting ready to get started. So let's do it.
I'm going to call this another successful day. We got the gable end dried in, wrapped up. Still got to do some caulking on it and so we can get it painted, but I'm not going to paint right away. Uh, but um, anyway, that's that's up there. Got the window taken out in the hall bath. And I haven't yet made my mind up what I'm going to do there. I'm leaning towards just blocking it in and putting some siding on it. I really, uh, really wanted to go ahead and put brick back in it and make it look like, you know, there wasn't a window there before. But, uh, I really think that that is going to be a uh, bit of work that has a zero return on it. I don't think that it's going to make a huge difference in uh, the rental value of the home. And I don't really think it's going to make a significant amount of difference considering the amount of effort going into it should I decide to sell this house. We're talking, you know, several days work. Um, if I hired somebody to do it, it'd be, you know, several hundred dollars at least. I uh, can't find replacement brick, so I'm going to have to take them out of another window and, you know, make another window larger, which then adds expense with larger windows. So, uh, I'm really just leaning towards blocking it up and putting siding on it. But it is really coming along and uh, maybe after um, tonight, I don't know what we'll do next time we work on it. Probably get some knobs for the doors. Um, I may go ahead and address that window tub because that's what it is it's over the tub and it's just not going to work for me um, maybe clean up a little more around the house and uh, once that's all done then I don't know maybe I'll get started on my other one doing some demolition I really need to get this one wrapped up. I got to get the roof done too. So anyway, thanks for watching. And I'm being blinded here. Oh, God, it's blinding me. It's blinding me. Uh, okay. Not okay. Okay. Not okay. Goodness gracious. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.